Hello and welcome back to Roller Coaster Tycoon, the Joffrey Gardens Park, the final, ultimate, and last park in the Corkscrew Follies expansion. Now um, <laughs> we have a crap load of coasters, and we also have a crap load of guests. But we need that because this park has the crazy objective of 2,000 guests, as we all know too well. So, well, huh? How is it going in terms of the schedule? We are halfway through July, and we are close to 900. If we continue this, then we will have landed this park, like, quite a few months ahead of the end of October, year 4. So far so good, you'd say, but for that we would need to continue building at a crazy pace and, well, for that we also need money, <laughs> and money, as we can see, is kind of the issue. Now, uh, like I just mentioned, so far we have indeed been building at a crazy pace, but... I don't know, I just have the feeling that we might have been a little bit sloppy when it comes to important details like safety mechanics and all that. So before we continue with the grand plan of expanding everything and building more awesome rides and luring in more guests, I think it wouldn't be such a bad idea to do a thorough check on pricing, vandalism and security measures, also known as <laughs> safety mechanics. So yeah, let's start out with the pricing first, and let's see here. Profit sword. Oh, <laughs> okay, um, so, well, this is the latest coaster that we built, you know, this uh, yellow one. For the rest, everything is making a profit, so that means that everything is priced proper. Right, pricing check done, next! <laughs> I mean, well, <laughs> wow, <laughs> didn't really expect that, but, alright, good stuff. So the vandalism then, huh? Now, with almost a thousand guests in the park, you'd think that we'd have some form of vandalism showing up. I mean, a thousand guests almost is quite a lot, and I wouldn't be surprised if there is something crooked, demolished, or whatever, but... No, it seems that our guests are pretty heavily lobotomized, almost. I mean, nothing is broken. Alright, well, I accept. Moving on, we need to check our safety mechanics. So, uh, let's get to the proper view for this. And let's just go through them one by one. Now, we have you. You are over here. You are for... This coaster, huh? But, tell me, uh, mechanic dude, I can't even see where you're walking. Well, I can tell you one thing, and that is that you're not walking. Uh, no, you might, you might actually be... Well, I... Yeah, you're walking over there. I don't know, I have a feeling that perhaps we would also need to assign that area. Then, we need to check out the next one. You. You got... I don't even see the... By the way, hold on a second. What is this? <laughs> wow, that's bad. Right. Uh, handy... No, I don't need you. Which? Handyman number two. You need that area too. <laughs> Clearly, I have been forgetting this. Wow, that's bad. <laughs> that is really bad. It's a wonder nothing has been demolished over here yet because of all this vomit. Anyway, uh, we were checking the safety mechanics. So the second one, huh? You're over there. This does make sense. Yeah, you're trapped right over there. I can see that. Right, okay, next is, uh, where do you service? You're over there. I can also see that you're trapped over there, so good, good. Uh, next is you. I wonder where you're over there. Now, uh, what good are you doing over here, I wonder? Because clearly... 
Yeah, you need to be down in the underground. I don't know how you managed to get up there, but that's not where you're supposed to be. Right now, though, I got you sorted proper. So, see, it's a good thing we do these, we do this check because that was pretty badly needed. And you're over there, so you 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 are assigned to the right area. However, um. Oh, this is of the of the underground mini golf. All right, this is of the car ride. I don't think we have any other coaster out there as of yet. So I believe that all the safety mechanics have been checked and they're all in place. And we even spotted some lousy and sloppy handy dude assignments. And uh, yeah, I feel that this check was pretty much worth it. So now then, um. Let's get the view back to normal first. There. Right, so last time we did uh, these cases. Now I feel it is time that we expand the path. And my plan is to kind of like hook these sections up. Now, like this, it might seem like, all right, just add a, a path there and then hook this up. But if I were to. Uh, at the support you'd see that this is actually a bridged section and I really like that so much so what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove this bridge and then we're gonna have the path uh, you know just cross uh, over here at the same level so all right let's get that sorted first change the support styles and remove path time there, and then we'll just do it simple like that. Though, the thing is, of course, we don't need to hook it up just yet. Because we need to make sure that any staff that is going to uh, walk in this new area isn't going to just wander off. So, we need to keep this uh, detached. We can, of course, always add that later. Now, if you turn this back on, I mean... This, you know, adding these two sections here is pointless. <laughs> that is not going to help out with the ratings at all. Uh, in fact, uh, there's pretty much, like, I think it's best if we just add this section over here and then remove this in its entirety, though, what that's going to do is that these flowers won't get watered. And I think they're nice. I don't want to remove those. So we're going to remove this section over there. There, and then we're just gonna add that there. Right, good, good, good. And then we also need to hook up the section over here, here to this direction, and done. Uh, <laughs> okay, I accidentally clicked on the bacon, but fine. <laughs> there, alright. Now, of course, we also need uh, benches and trash cans and all that jazz, so. There, and a few over here. Wow, look at the gas insta pouring on this new section. Let's add some trash cans to keep litter down. Right, good. Now it's time to also add some stuff to this new section. <laughs> I mean, it's nice opening up new paths and all that, but if it isn't kept clean, <laughs> then what's the point, really? So, um, we need one dude over here until there. Right, that's your area pretty much now. I wonder, like, I don't think we need uh, more of these just yet. We're also not really in the financial situation to just add more. Not yet, at least. So. Right, now this new section, um, this just beckons for more facilities as well. I mean, I'm just looking over here and I don't even see... Well, the last batch of uh, shops and stalls is all the way over here. <laughs> That's miles away from over there. And same over here, really, so... I th well, we could add them over here, but that, I feel that's too close. I think this corner over here, let me just see, how's it doing in the height? Well, that's perfect. We're going to have our shops and stalls right on that stretch. So, there we go. We will add a toilet, a crapper for starters. There. We will then add a drink thingy as well. 
And finally, we will add... Oh, hey, an ice cream store. I don't think we even have that yet, so... There we go, right, nice. Now, of course, we need to name this, because that is tradition in um, this uh, in, in this park. <laughs> well, tradition, tradition. It's a habit, let's put it like that. We are going to call this <laughs> the me we. <laughs> Uh, all right. <laughs> I mean, oh well, why not, right? I mean, I never name shops and stuff, so we, they might be a little bit wonky. Um, we we will call this <laughs> we can't we <laughs> can't we <laughs> uh, can't we <laughs> or <laughs> can't we? <laughs> no, 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 no. We will do this. We you know can't we, and then with a wink on there. That's it. Wow, <laughs> this looks rather odd, but you know. This is all... <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Alright, let's not think about that too much. This one, though, you know, our very first ice cream stall, and we will call this Venezia. Because that's how all the ice cream huts in my country are called. <laughs> Pretty much, at least. <laughs> so, yeah, it's totally not original, but hey. Now, of course, this is all minor issues, really, and we need them, I admit, but this isn't what's gonna lure in those 2,000 guests. Now what we need is more rides and I have been wanting a ride over here in this particular spot for a while. Now we've only gotten it recently and that is uh, this one, the go-karts. See, what I wanted over here was a tracked ride, like a car ride or a ghost ride, um, but this was the one that I really wanted, and guess what? <laughs> we got it, so we're gonna get that there. And what I want is to have that zigzag uh, through, you know, these houses that they got over here. Which I think, you know, are pretty cool with them giraffes on top. So I wanna utilize that, and um, I think the go-kart's perfectly suited for that. However, uh, if we were to do that, we would need to... Well, see, here's the plan, and I think it isn't such a bad plan. It's like, we are going to have the station here, and then we'll have it, the queue hook up somewhere around this area, and the exit just simple over there, you know, short and simple. I think that is a pretty solid plan, actually, I can think of it. However, the only, you know, the only thing that's like kind of like, mm -hmm, yeah, on my side is that, well, you know, I mean, I've been having my mouth full with, yeah, compact building and don't waste any space and all that. And here I am, you know, looking at this big open stretch of park, um, well, thinking about how we're going to put a ride in there. Well, there's so much space empty over here. I admit, we should use that too, and we're going to, but this go-kart's over here, it's just a thing I want. So, <laughs> yeah, let's get in there, right? <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to have a compact building uh, things uh, limit my designs and placement on thereof. Now, we're going to have the entrance here. We'll need to do some terraforming on this piece, uh, as well as over there. Look, I like it so. And you know what, once we're at it, we might as well hook this one up. Uh, first, you know, good tradition and all that, <laughs> and uh, good traditions are good for a reason. Now, we need a you no know, entry sign here, and that's that one sorted. Check! <laughs> Next! <laughs> um, we'll then have this, uh, you two need to be gone. I mean, <laughs> that, was, that was quite obvious, you know, there's no saving them. And then, yeah, yeah, there's this tree. That needs to be gone, and then you as well. And right now, I guess we're, you know, that's a pretty good queue length, so. There we go. And uh, I guess we'll go something like this, and then up one more, so we can go above our own tracks. And here we are at the tree, where do we end up now? Right, going around them trees. Go up one further, remove the tree, I guess we would also need to remove you then, 
Look, and this, oh yes, this is exactly what I wanted. Look. Zigzagging through the giraffe area. Just the thing I had in mind with the go cut. Look at this. Look at it being awesome. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Down, 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 down. Now, I guess this will be like the last, uh, you know, curve around. I don't really think that this uh, right needs any other direct shenanigans. I mean, the zigzag, you know, is pretty cool in and of itself. So, I guess we'll just head back to the station and then be done with it, you know. <laughs> there. Look. Oh, almost. <laughs> there. It's done. Right. Now, let's quickly set this up. I think that this, I mean, the track is simple, yet this is just such a cool feature that I think the ratings are pretty solid on this. I also think that if we wanted to, we could charge, like, I don't know, seven bucks, but we're not going to. We're only going to charge five bucks for this. Now, you might be wondering, like, why? Money was the issue, you said. It is true, but um, another thing that well, it isn't really affecting us right now, but it will come into play rather soon, is the fact that uh, you know the early guests that are still in the park, they're get, starting to get broke. You know, they're, they've run through all their money and they can't spend it on anything anymore. And well, you know, if we don't adjust our pricing to that, then well, we'll all start seeing guests leaving rather quick. Now, the thing is, you know, the only real effective way to counter that is, of course, to lower the prices. But I feel like we're not making enough money as of yet. Now, we can just lower the prices without suffering the results. But, you know, I mean, <laughs> if I want to prevent the whole guest exodus from having zero bucks to spend... We shouldn't price this, you know, this very go-kart, eight bucks or so. So, um, there, you know. Explaining tactics here. Uh, for now, though, uh, five bucks is good. And, uh, you know, I think in, like, a couple of months, when we have, like, one or two more coasters, then is the moment that we can just start lowering the prices, even if the rides don't really need it per se, but... Now, well, uh, let's focus on the go-karts first, actually, because there's a lot of theorizing happening already. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we will call this the Formula I. I, 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 I. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't overdo it. Uh, giraffe. I don't really know if you write it like that or like this. Giraffe. <laughs> Giraffe. <laughs> I don't know. I... Uh, it doesn't really sound or look right, <laughs> but I am totally not sure, so we're gonna go with that. <laughs> it's probably horribly wrong, <laughs> but, oh uh, well, <laughs> I'm not known for proper English anyway, so. Black supports, that kind of looks alright, I guess. And a bit of the brownish yellow that their skin usually is. Yeah, looks alright, looks rather dark. But it's not bad, it isn't obtrusive to the eyes, so... Good, good, good. Now, we do need to add uh, some benches to this, yes, just like that. And, um, well, I guess that that is our go-kart. Now, ooh, and... Oh, nice, nice, nice! The best value park. Wow, look at our money. That is horrible. <laughs> wow! The best value park though. Oh nice, this is gonna mean a massive boost in gas. However, seeing how we're quite low on money, we might want to add just a few scenery items to kind of save up for some more money, I feel. So <laughs> let's just add a few of these fountains here and there for good measure. <laughs> I mean, guests always appreciate them, so we might as well <laughs> build a few right now. Maybe also get a few statues in here and there. Just so that we can get a little bit more money. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we aren't doing great in the financial, you know, front here. Let's see, let's see what we can add where. I mean, we removed a few trees over there, so we might as well have a look at placing those back. Or at least some of them. There. Look, like this. 
be over there. No. <laughs> okay. <yeah. laughs> uh, right. Maybe one of those smaller trees. Uh, maybe you over here too. Yeah. Right, I don't really know if that had any effect really on anything important. You know what, we'll also add a fence because, you know, on these slope pieces, it doesn't matter too much. It's not like we can hook up anything there, so yeah. And uh, we'll also add one there. <laughs> I know it's a bit inconsistent, but oh well. <laughs> it's all, you know, for getting money. Now. Um, alright, we got a thousand bucks, so uh, let's see, right? I mean, when I look over here, and I'm looking at, like, the bigger balance of things, in terms of, like, ride variety and all that, I see one thrill right here, I see another thrill right there, I see another thrill right over here. Where are the gentle rides? I mean, I know we got one over there, but I feel like... We need one extra, and well, as it happens, yeah, you are dis um, developing, you know, inventing more gentle rides. We need another one, and preferably a slam down one. We could go with a tower, I guess, but it's so close to this one. I think a tower over here is not the right spot. If we were to build the tower, it would be better of like, I don't know. Maybe somewhere over here, or somewhere over here, you know? A bit further away from this one. Seeing how we're only going to get two towers anyway, uh, because the awesome Roto Drop is not available in the last park. Um, yeah. You know what, we're going to build this, the Haunting Mansion. Now, in my opinion, this spot over here is perfect for it, because... Over here, nah. Over here, this just, this just seems like you know it's asking for a ride. Now, if we're gonna build it over here, and there's a choice we need to make. What height is it gonna be on? Is it gonna be this height of this path, or is it gonna be over here? You know, this height. I mean, if we do it over here, there's gonna be like a curtain of supports coming from underneath it, and I don't really like it. So we're gonna dig it in. Let's just. Get the big terraforming shovel out there. Let's start terraforming and like mad. Need to remove the loose and then ouch. Right, so let's do a little bit more terraforming over here. Like this. Yes. I mean it doesn't need to be much, but just so that it doesn't look that ugly, I mean. This has one edge that we got over here, you know, that small edge. I mean, I guess that's just... Oh, <laughs> yeah, all right. Let's also remove those trees. Now, with that small edge, I mean, look at that, you know. Building in front of it and nobody will see a thing. So, then what we're going to need is this over there, that over there. And let's get ourselves a nice cube. And go up there. Yeah, I guess there's no real escaping it, but we would need this to be like this. Um, I guess so. I mean, minor amounts of terraforming. I'm not too worried about the amounts we just had to do, really. You know, this is within the acceptable th uh, range for me when it comes to terraforming. Now, we'll up this to five bucks. Yes. There we go. Uh... 10 minutes, yes also, and we'll open it up. Um, how are we going to call this there? You know what, we are going to call this um, the Blair Witch Hut. Yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> totally not original, I mean, but hey, who said it had to be original, right? I think it's an absolutely fitting name for a haunting mansion, yeah? The Blair Witch Hut. <laughs> Though, if this were to be a hut, <laughs> it's a pretty royal hut, but... <laughs> now, well, minor detail. <laughs> uh, yeah, alright. So, it's opened up. It's all sorted now. Uh, I guess... See, the thing is, 
there's plenty of space over here and there's plenty of space over here we can get a coast over here that that's like not really the issue the thing that is the issue more is that we don't really have enough path space over here to hook up another nice coast there however if we go over here and uh, let me just rotate the view look at this nice hill and this whole corner over here i think we can get in at least a good pair but probably even more coasters so and i know we just opened up a, a section of the park but i feel like we should open up yet another one so yeah that's gonna happen now the next section yeah i think it's quite obvious that that's gonna be over here this graveyard and even though i quite like this graveyard <laughs> when it comes to infrastructural gas flow management <laughs> also known as tycooning in roller coaster tycoon land <laughs> um this is a nightmare it is squares all over the place and guess we'll get lost like there is no tomorrow so we need to fix this and like I said, as much as I like this graveyard, when once we get the paths removed, there's no real point in keeping all these tombstones over here because we could use this space with a lot better use than the devs are currently doing. So you know what? Let's remove some of this path over here. There. Ah, oh, that's a shame, really. You know that we just removed all the all the fences uh, by doing so but I'll take that for granted you know um, improvement sometimes means making sacrifices besides we could place this back I mean look at that they even got a gatehouse no way we could place that back we don't have gatehouses in <laughs> the old build options you know. oh nice we kept the gatehouse at least Right, so if we take a look right now, I mean, sure we could remove all the tombstones too, but I feel like we should leave that till we actually need to remove the tombstones. So, well, then there's the, you know, the part for the coasters. Um, what we need to do really is get ourselves a coaster out here, and I'm thinking over here, but you know what? Let's first get this all things sorted so we'll remove that stretch and then we'll just hook it up to the main path i guess uh, just uh, like this um right now it's of course you know important to get all the benches out there as well as the staff required to keep this clean there i mean currently there isn't anything for the guests to do over here but Right then, so, um, stuff, a handy dude is all that we're gonna need really. Uh, don't uh, clean the path though. Or, uh, do clean the path, but don't mow the grass. I mean, I mean, do clean the path, <laughs> that's all I'm hiring you for pretty much. And we'll just end the centerpiece as well for any future paths and that we might get there. Right, so that's the new section opened up, and ooh, look at this, it's only 19th of August, and we have a thousand guests, well, minus two, in the park already. That means that we got like two and a half months to overshoot the thousand guest mark, and build up some margin, you know, some error headway, for uh, for the later uh, stages of the park. Nice, I like it. Now, one thing that we also should check out that we haven't done yet, um, the ratings of these coasters. I mean, last time, you know, when we bid them, we had put on the synchro option, but we never checked the ratings. Now we are going to do that. Just that. The swine rods and the cooker apparatus. <laughs> Man, <laughs> what a name. <laughs> Right, show me the ratings. Oh, 6.66, and that's pretty decent, I feel, for what I deem a crappy type of coaster. Uh, the swine rats, though. Oh, yes, yes, it's grand. I expected as much, <laughs> but it's still nice to see my, you know, my expectations confirmed. A grand coaster, very good. 
Right, now another thing I would like to know is the ratings of um, the Go cards. Ooh, on that uh, definitely a keeper. I mean, these five bucks we can charge this indefinitely because uh, this is already cheaper than the excitement rating. Very nice. Seems like this is solid track design. And on that note, I'd say join me next time when we play more Roller Coaster Tycoon.